It's mid-April and in many parts of the world they are celebrating the Lunar New Year today. But lately I've been really concentrating on my teaching and because it didn't seem like anything was happening about New Year's, I didn't think much about it until this morning. As you can see, I'm all dressed and ready to go to school, but when I went to eat breakfast, my host family informed me that it was a holiday and school was closed. Didn't I feel silly? Namaste, my name is Jim. I've served in the US Peace Corps in three countries, Thailand, Mongolia, and Nepal. I'm again living in Nepal, waiting for Peace Corps to reinstate volunteers after being evacuated last year due to the pandemic. With videos like this, I'm just trying to pass on some of my experience to help other volunteers get more out of their service when Peace Corps returns. What happened to me, unfortunately, is not an isolated incident. This kind of situation also happened to me a lot when I was serving in Thailand. In fact, I believe this kind of thing happens to every volunteer worldwide, at least once during their service, if not more. But it definitely can be frustrating, and if it happens frequently, it could also affect how you see your self-worth. In my experience, many Peace Corps volunteers are planners. That's how we've been brought up and educated. So when unexpected things happen to those plans that someone should have told you about, you kind of take it personally. I mean, why didn't somebody tell you school was canceled? Or that there was a staff meeting after school? Or that your class is canceled for a special program? You get the gist. If it happens a lot, it can make you question your worth in your school or community. You already have loads of micro stress just being a volunteer with living in a new culture, language and communication problems, social integration issues, and maybe you're not completely confident in your job either. So when things happen that make you feel like you're invisible, like no one telling you about an event, it just can add salt to the wound. But I'm here to tell you that you are a valued part of your school or community. You are not invisible or forgotten. 99% of the time, they thought you already knew about the event, or they thought someone else would have surely told you about it. They might even be concerned that you feel slighted. So, what's a volunteer to do? First, the number one thing Peace Corps has taught me is to roll with the punches. Laugh about it. Tell someone like it was a funny story about how you didn't know. That way, indirectly, they are informed that you didn't know about the event and that it affected you personally. But by adding humor, you don't sound as if you're accusing anyone of anything. And second, the reason this happens is you're new. The longer you live in your community, the less frequently situations like this will happen. But you can accelerate this process by working more on your social integration. Volunteers tend to need or spend a lot of time alone, especially at the beginning of their service. And by all means, take that time if you need to. But maybe, just a little bit, it is a way to avoid using your poor language skills out in the community. Just bite the bullet and get out there. Talk to everyone about everything, events, holidays, special gatherings, anything that might disrupt your day-to-day -day schedule. The more connections you make, the less likely you'll feel invisible, and the more you will not be taken by surprise. Just remember, if someone forgets to tell you about something, it isn't personal. Just laugh about it and get out more. Spending more time out in the community will always pay huge dividends in the Peace Corps. Has this happened to you before? How did you handle it? Tell us about it in the comments. Okay, everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, Danyabad.